Hey, it's me again, Phase North, here with another video. This time, we're going to talk about DeFi and Bridge. But before we do that, hey, it's me again, Phase North, here with another video. But before I start, as always, I'd like to remind you that all of the information that I'm providing here is of my own journey, which I'm sharing with you. Therefore, you must do your own research as this is not financial advice that I'm providing. Also, I'd like to thank you for all your tips and your donations. And if you wish to send me more tips and donations, you can send, send it from your web off wallet to Sunseeker. And also, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button and send me comments if you wish and share. And having said, all of that let's get on with this video let's take a look at some charts let's see what xpr has been doing xpr has but very quietly in the background if you remember my chart that i had put out before look and see the moves that xpr has made over one week two weeks three weeks four weeks five weeks and we're on the sixth week of green candles, slowly making its way up. Where is our target? First target is the 1.618, which is at 0 0.0015945. The next target is at, or just under the 2.618 fib, which, was, which is a measured move that we've taken from here. Looking good, looking good. I'm on the weekly. And what I've seen here is this is going to take a while to play out, but it's a target. Here we go. A left shoulder, then comes the crown, then up to the right shoulder, and then back down, and then up. Retest. This gives us our target. I've actually drawn in a line for this, which is from bottom here. And that target would be, once it's actually created that inverse head and shoulders, brings us up to 0 0.08936. So that would be a target for XPR. But this is over time, so we don't know when that's going to happen. It can happen fast and or it can happen over the next six months. That's XPR. Metal has been having a good time as well. Metal is um, over three weeks moves, moving up. Strong moves really. But very quiet as well. I think something is going to be um, happening soon. We might get a well, over a bit more time because we need to get a golden cross to come in most probably. We might get it on the daily. Let's have a look. Yeah, we had a golden cross. This is why it's moved up. But here we've got um, di divergence. This is on its way up. Just started to cool down and the indicators are curving down. But it doesn't mean that it's actually going to drop down. We're in a bull market. So we're going to have um, pullbacks, but they may not be that deep. It might just come back and do a retest. Let's have a look at the chart. So I've marked down here. We had a left shoulder, a crown, and then a right shoulder for inverse head and shoulders. So really, this could come back. The price could come back down to 0 0.08734 before continuing. So that'd be interesting too. Let's take a look at the bridges on Metal Exchange. On Metal Exchange, we have this, we have the bridge. So you'll see trade, swap, pools, farm. These two, pools and farm, I created a video. So if you want to go and watch that, it's about the DeFi, the way that you can invest, earn coins by farming them. 
or actually putting them into a pool and again getting percentages back so with the bridge this is a way that you can send your coins into your web, web off wallet metal pay allows you to use your credit card to put, um, make payments of um, to make payments from your visa cards and allows you to buy xpr metal with cash so some countries don't uh, has not accepted metal pay at the moment so we like myself would use coinbase or wherever i have usdc and wanting to transfer it into metal x so for instance coinbase you can send usdc via ethereum and other networks too but not all the networks are seen here on the metal exchange so if we click here for the usdc coin you'll see usdc ethereum so when you're in coinbase and you go to send your coin your usdc the first network that you would see is ethereum it'll cost you about 14 dollars or more to make that transfer so when you're in coinbase what you would do is get your address from the bridge or from your web off wallet this address here is my address for my wallet my web off wallet so don't use that one look in your web off wallet and get your address but if you click on the right hand side here it says usdc stella here you will see that you can receive you can receive your usdc via the stellar network so you have your address and you will need the deposit memo so this is my address for stellar and this is my deposit memo please remember that you need both of these otherwise you will lose your coins you need the usdc deposit address on the network stellar you take this address you make a copy of it then with the buttons here make a copy of each of them double check them so copy it then you can paste it in the coinbase wallet address that you're sending from so the usdc that you're going to send from you will paste this the these addresses into them so your address and your your memos and then you should receive usdc and it shouldn't cost you much should be about if that a dollar it's sometimes zero so there you go that will save you and that will save you paying the expensive ethereum charges so that was the bridge and if you think that was useful and if you think that um phase north is helping you if you click the subscribe button ring the bell join the patron tip me if you like look in the description all the details are there be blessed love you all bye